Ол өлеке біздің ауыл жайылаған жер ай, желеге асау қолын байла. How beautiful the village is, with its yurts nestled across the far reaches of the Kazakh steppe. Horses with their fowls are grazing on the grass in the boundless meadow. From the ancient times, Kazakh people had a wonderful tradition, Kamas Murunduk, associated with the vital beverage Kumas. Hello, you're watching the Kazakh Live Duster. Today we will drink Kumas. From the times immemorial, the traditional beverage, kumus, still remains essential to the Kazakh people. Kumus is associated with many proverbs and sayings, poems, as well as traditions. One of the most common traditions is kumus murundok. The chief of the methodical department of the Scientific Center of Rights and Traditions in Shumken City, Mirzabai Omarov, will tell in detail about this tradition. Welcome to our studio. Hello. So there is Kumas Morandok tradition. Please tell us about it. It's not surprising that Kumas is very essential traditional beverage for our people. Since the Kazakh steppe was recognized as the habitat of horses. The first data on Kumas fermentation was found in the Turkic Mongolian scientific treatises, and Kambarata was recognized as the pathbreaker in preparation of Kumas. Such wise sayings as what could be more delicious than Kumas, or Kumas heals both body and soul, were mentioned in the legendary heroic epics. The tradition Kumas Murandakh is one of the most ancient ones. It's still applied in our country. The tradition refers to the ancient era. In spring, when nature awakens from its long winter sleep, the trees open their buds with a glorious burst of flowers and leaves. Mares are tethered in the stable. In the warm month of May, respectable elder men and distinguished guests gather in villages to celebrate the holiday of Kumas period. It is the time when mayors start to give their milk, Kumas. In some regions, the tradition is called Biyabao, but widely known as Kumas Murundakh. People have a wonderful time to spend. All gather at the table, Dastarhan is served, and cattle are slaughtered for guests. Festive ceremonies arranged. All the elders are invited. At Dastarhan, the host asks the respectable Aksakal to give his blessing. First, the elder tries kumus and then passes it on to the host. Sometimes three fingers are wetted in a cap with kumas and sprayed onto a tree with butts. Why do they spray onto the tree? In order to nourish it. This is such a right. Yes. After everyone tastes kumas, the elder man offers his cap to guests who have come from far away or to young people. It's an honorable sign for youth. The host pours kumus into a wooden bowl to the full and treats one of the guests. He drinks it to the bottom, fills it again with kumus and returns it to the host. This is one of the special traditions associated with kumus. It signifies of mutual respect among inhabitants of the village. This holiday of kumus reflects the revival of nature, thawing relations among people.
There are many varieties of kumas. This is due to the variety of breeds and horse feet. It's very important to have skills to prepare kumas. Many people have not even heard of the black kumas variety. At the period of Genghis Khan reign, the ruler of China, Kublai Khan, possessed thousands of white mares. Ten thousand white mares? Yes. The ancient tradition Kumas Morandok was held as special feasts, meetings of the aristocracy or rulers. It was a sign of respect towards the guests. Guests were treated with the best quality Kumas. In the autumn, after summer pastures, mare's milk is full of black particles of fat that form on top. This black kumis is considered to be the highest quality. Mukhtar Magawin wrote about such kumis in his studies of the Genghis Khan period. Our ancestors made careful preparations for the great festivities and enjoyed drinking kumis at feasts so that to relax in body and soul and enjoy the holiday. Yes, when the big feast was announced, the rich and prosperous people, in order to show their wealth and generosity, loaded camels on both sides with large wineskins made of horse skin. This gesture was also considered a great honor. Mirzabai, thank you very much for coming to our studio and sharing information about this Asian tradition. We were very pleased to listen to you and learn so many new things. We became more confident in such beautiful Asian tradition. Now I would like to ask you to give your blessing. Sure. I will give my blessing at the sacred Duster Han. May wealth and abundance always accompany you. I wish you happiness and long life. Amen. Amen. Currently, people around the world are interested in the principles of healthy diet. Kazakh experts produce a variety of products from fresh mare's milk. I want to welcome the next guest of our studio. Kushara Abai is the senior research fellow at the Kazakh Research Institute of Processing and Food Industry. Also, we invited manufacturers of medicinal fresh milk, Kromangali Jumagulov and Dinara Andirjan. Welcome. The first question is addressed to the research fellow, Kushara Abai. Please tell us about the products which are manufactured in the institute. Judging by the forecasts of nutritionists and dieting experts, in the next 15-20 years, every food product on the shelf will acquire functional significance. A dairy product, confectionery, flour-based food, meat products, everything will be made from ingredients that are beneficial and healthy for the human organism. In this regard, specialists of the Research Institute of Processing and Food Industry hold large-scale work. For example, we are working over production of children's and dietary products based on mare's milk and yogurt. Are they made of organic mare's milk? Yes, yogurt is made from organic mare's milk. Consistency of yogurt is thick and it's very nutritious. But why do we use mare's milk exactly? Mare's milk is a unique dairy product because it's equivalent to breast milk while containing all chemical properties, high in protein and vitamins. And what's its dietary significance? It has low energy, but high biological nutritional value. Therefore, we have chosen mare's milk to produce unique, 
healthy dairy products. Each product is manufactured in its classic consistency. We use the technology of biofortification of mare's milk and fermented foods. For example, our dairy products are enriched with vitamins and minerals by adding organic wild strawberry. They are especially healthy for children's growing organism. We use starter cultures that are grown by our specialists in the research institute. Starter cultures for kumus include variety of LAB and yeasts. They are produced by creating a consortium of fermented milk strains with high probiotic activity. So on the basis of milk and various starter cultures, we obtain these unique and healthy products. They are recommended to be included in the food intake. What is the proper age to start drinking this dairy product? As I said, mare's milk is equivalent to breast milk, so it's possible to give it to a child from the birth. For example, here is such a yogurt. It contains various ingredients and flavoring. It can be consumed starting from four or five years old. What is its shelf life? Its shelf life is five days, as there are no preservatives included in the ingredients. Therefore, it's worth consuming during this period. Please tell us about its benefits in cancer treatment. Mare's milk is distinguished by high quality of protein composition. It contains a lot of proteins, amino acids, essential amino acids. In particular, the dairy product contains lysozyme proteins and lactoferrin. Their main function includes antiviral properties, immunity support, bactericidal properties. Kumis also have cancer-fighting benefits. Thanks to such proteins, the mare's milk is valued highly. Mare's milk has high stimulating properties and increases immunity. It contains important nutrients and can bring about more positive health effects. Protein ensures antibacterial characteristics. For example, different pathogenic microorganisms can be the source of various diseases in the organism, and lysozyme in the composition of mare's milk prevent their penetration into the organism, neutralizes them. Lysozyme preserves such antibacterial properties in humans' digestive tract. Mare's milk contains much of this component, six times more than cow's milk. It's wonderful, great news. It's a new direction for development. I have a next question. Tell us about your center. It was founded in 2017, has been fully operational since 2018. There is a farm of mares. How many times they produce milk per day? One mare produces milk up to eight, nine times every two hours. Part of milk is intended for medical purposes. From the rest part, we produce kumas. How many liters of milk can a mare produce? Per day? No, at a time. The mare can produce up to one, one and a half liters of milk at the time. It all depends on the mare's breed. We produce kumas according to the old technology. A fermentation tank should be made of wood. It must be smoked in order to kill bacteria, to give milk a peculiar taste. There are different types of kumas. In the southern Kazakhstan, there is a different technology of milk production. In the northern, there is another method. Fermentation tanks are smoked in different ways. Somewhere they are smoked with herbs, somewhere with just wood. What do you use to smoke fermentation tanks? Meadow sweet branches. It's wonderful. Is it wild meadow sweet? Yes, it grows in the mountain. After that, the inner walls of the fermentation tank are coated with tail fat. Then milk is poured into the tank and Gaza is added. Someone put jal, the oblong portion of fat, coming from the underpart of the horse's neck, or even raisins. All this gives a special flavor to kumas. You said that you have a herd of mares. Do they produce milk any season? 
In general, horses fall mainly in the spring, but there are mares that fall in the autumn. This mares produce milk in the winter. Mares which fall in the spring can produce milk in the summer. Thank you for coming to our studio and sharing valuable information. I wish you center production efficiency and prosperity. Kumus should be shaken well. The more often kumus is roiled, the tastier it is. The beverage should be shaken well to ensure exposure of all the sediment, otherwise kumus will be too liquid in consistency and lose its properties. Today we welcome Abayjan Gabulov, the Doctor of Medical Sciences, Professor of Kazakhstan Russian Medical University, Chief of the Department of Internal Diseases. We have already noted the nutritional properties of kumis. Tell us about the benefits of kumis for the human organism from a medical point of view. I defended a dissertation on this theme and wrote several books. About Kumis? Yes, I wrote books about Kumis and Shabbat. These books gained popularity in our country. They are popular abroad as well, for example, in Mongolia, Turkey, and Germany. Some our compatriots feel indignant about the German entrepreneur Hans Zollmanns getting appropriated all rights to produce kumis. Did he patent it? Yes, he did. This is wrong. About 20 years ago, this German entrepreneur came to me and bought one of my books, which he still uses. Was it Mr. Zolman? Yes, he uses the book as a guidance. The world currently is living in 2020 in the 21st century. Our guest was highly successful to have defended his dissertation on Kumas and Shabbat theme in Moscow back in 1985. Yeah. Yes, let's discuss the essential purpose of fermented mare's milk. Kumas has always been an essential beverage for the Kazakh people. First, this is food. It's a thirst-quenching beverage when necessary. The dairy product has its curative and healing properties. It's proved to be a remedy for a number of other health issues. Due to its unique composition of minerals and vitamins, kumas has always been very popular among people. If we plunge into the history, we can say that in the ancient times, there were a lot of widespread disease outbreaks, known as epidemics. People suffered from absence of treatment. For example, scurvy, the disease resulting from a lack of vitamin C. In those days, death toll as a consequence of the disease was high across the world. Kazakhs did not consume fruits and vegetables in the ancient times. However, they were strong and healthy enough. There weren't mass deaths, although this is not stated in history. There were no terrible diseases. Why didn't the Kazakhs get sick with scurvy? Since they are consumed kumis and it contains a lot of vitamin C, five, six times more than in cow's milk. It is the source of vitamin C. Kazakh consumed mare's milk and were strong as well as healthy. There were no epidemics. 
Yes, there were no epidemics. The death rates from the disease were low thanks to Kumas. Foreign producers of Kumis contact our guest Abai and actively use his scientific research in their work. Abai, tell me, who contacted you? Who came from abroad for your advice? When I was in Germany, I met with Zoman, who produces Kumis. He traveled with me across the country, and I delivered lectures there. When did it take place? It was 20 years ago. I also want to stress that Zoman intends to translate my book, Saumalo Kumis, into German. Presently? Yes, in the present time. I didn't ask him about it. He addressed to me and expressed his desire to translate the book. I gave my permission. I can't say this is all my merit, but I have made a certain contribution and still perform job in this direction. Fresh mare's milk cannot be considered to be someone's property. It's the beverage that has already found its destination in the world. Each person can use it as he wishes, get a patent, have some rights on its consumption. Our goal is to make researches, continue scientific work, learn more about healing properties of mare's milk. We have to make further contribution to development of spheres where kumis can be applied. How? To deepen our knowledge. In what way? We need to fully investigate the chemical composition, physical properties of mare's milk. We can say that the beverage has not yet been studied thoroughly. Specialists of Japan, Germany, China or other countries can study its properties in clinical conditions or others better than we can. Therefore, we must fully explore the healing properties, represent it to the world. Other countries pursue different aims. Commercial? Commercial and other purposes. After that, we will be able to apply for a patent, consolidate our works. Do you understand? Yes. This is the challenge. <laughs> It's a great job. Thank you very much for approaching the study of mare's milk scientifically and discovering its secrets to the whole world. I wish you long life. Thank you. Minerals are the wealth beneath the soil. Fresh mare's milk and kumis are our treasure on earth. I wish wealth and abundance to all. You watch the Kazakh Life Duster program with Tamara Sar. See you soon.